answer the question about methylation, there's two tests that you can, several, but two tests in particular that are particularly, that your physician should be able to do is called an MTHFR, which is the genetics as to whether or not you can convert uh, to the methylfolate and homocysteine and see how high those levels are. And that will give you an idea as to whether or not you're adequately utilizing your B, B vitamins and your folic acid. And you know, one of the crazy things in, in B vitamins in particular, so B12 levels, the B12 levels are listed as normal between 215 and I, the upper end, I don't know, it's about 600. But that sounds like a huge range. Is that a huge range? It is a huge range, but the yeah. really crazy, actually it's higher than 600, it's probably closer to 800. But the really crazy thing about that is that there's an asterisk on the B12 level. The asterisk on the B12 level says, oh, by the way, uh, 10 to 15 percent of the population whose B12 level is below 450 will have signs of B12 deficiency. B12 deficiency is neurologic deficits, okay? Very serious problem. So. Uh, the fact is we're telling people they're fine at 215. We don't know if you're fine at 215. We know that 15% of the population isn't fine at 215, and I have no understanding as to why we simply haven't reset the level at 450 where it belongs. So having as part of your normal workup an MTHFR and having a, a uh, homocysteine measured uh, as long, along with your B12 and folic acid, let you know not just the levels, but whether or not you're utilizing those vitamins, your body's utilizing those vitamins in such a way that they're really functionally useful to you.